Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another video. This time it'll be a bit different. Instead of doing a pattern blitz, I'll attempt my first uh, checkmate patterns. Hi everyone, so uh, welcome to. I'm not expecting another video, things, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, this one looks like a bat rank mate. I need to get the bishop out of the way, so it looks like it should be this. Hands found it. Okay, what is this one? <clears throat> Looks like always a check. The checks first. Most force in line here. A pretty mate. Mm, looks like some sort of king's gambit gone wrong here. I want it to be queen h4. So it's a pretty smooth and looks like it works to fight the knight away from the d4 square. So far, so good. So much of the Eagles, mate. How's it, Vienna? I'm afraid I don't know the naming system. Hmm, that was this one. The Queen's covering the e8 square. Uh, so I can't go rook e8 immediately. Kick and hide safely on h8. The knight's covering some useful squares. This looks like a slightly tricky one that's not just check, check. Now, how's the counterplay? I want root space h6. Black has one check. I can pin the queen, but that doesn't matter. If you take my rook, I play bishop e6, check. Uh, king in the corner. Queen f6, check. That looks like it should be mate. Bit worried. Okay, first right move. Let's not spoil it. Queen f7 check. You can't go in the corner, so you've got the bishop. That'll be mate eventually. What's that or queen f5? Queen f5 check, king h. Yeah. Well, it's finally forced King out of the corner. There we go. Hmm. Okay, so white is threatening mate in one. <clears throat> this time we definitely need to do everything with check. Queen B1 check would be my first guess. The king comes forward to C4. Then it's going to be hard to swap him to both d5 and d3. Ah, yeah, by mate young. That's a pretty mate. Okay. Bishop and queen controlling all the squares. Vocatoro against Ginocchio. Had Daniele finish it off. My immediate thought is queen takes f8 check. Has to take, then we have another check. King goes to g8, we have g8 check, yeah, and then we have a mother matey thing at the end. Okay. I hear the prettiest move is queen f2, but I don't think you have to take it. We don't play checkers. You can just go knight six knight. So it's not going to be that. Knight g one of the knights to g three check this knight is more logical. But then the knight is blocking a mate on the h file. So neither of those moves seem to work straight away. Mm. Uh, but I have the rook that can swing too. So yeah, this is, must be the right idea. So I could check. Let's get this knight blocking the king. Uh, and then the rook check. Sacrifice the rook and the queen gets in. Have to use all your pieces. Okay. 
Okay, so Bishop F3 check is extremely tempting, but it would lose horribly because you can just take it and then queen yourself. <clears throat> so what are the other options? Queen C5 check. King can't go back because well, king can't go back because it's covered. So king has to go to e4, and then bishop f5 is mate. Right. And a strange formation. Ashchenko for Chekhov. Now, how do we do this one? The detection of the rook with queen e8 check is ambitious, but won't work because the queen is also covering across the g7. Uh, I feel that I would just take this rook in a game. I take the rook, you've got no checks, you take, and then I'll play queen f7 afterwards, threatening mate. It's not as pretty, perhaps, as the other moves, but it seems to do the job. Black is a lot of pawns up. That one is. <laughs> I tried to promote to a rook. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> so far, so good. Ooh, okay. If I miss this one, it would be embarrassing. Don't think I've ever managed to actually have this mate in a game, but you see it in all the puzzle books. Bowden's mate. Now I want rook f4 check. Looks like it should work. And my bishop gets in. <clears throat> Mate. Daniel. Swedish Grandmaster. Mm -hmm. So just take. So you don't allow the king to c3, so we check again. And then bishop comes in. And gets corn. Okay. Looks like it should be queen e6 check. You can't take it because of that rank mate. Yeah, that's do the job. Rabuki and Shigalko. <clears throat> Some big names in these games. I want to gain the tempo of the check. Let's not be hasty. But I think queen d3 check. The king can't get to e1, so it has to go to the king side and then gain another tempo with queen g6 check. King f1, queen g2 check. Yeah, and then that's mate in a couple of moves. So we don't let the king run to c2, so first block or the knight pack. Uh, fail all the challenges this time. So we had. I'm not sure what happened last time. It was like a technical problem. But I won't be playing people today. So attempting to solve these puzzles instead. Okay, too many checks available here. Uh, Queen c6 to e4 must be mating. You can't go to the D file, yeah. It can't be a collection of mating puzzles without this one either. The smothered mate. I thought it was called, had some connection to Philidor, this mate, but uh, I was trying to someone who had never heard that. Maybe I made it up. Okay. Initial thought is Queen F7 check because you can't go backwards. So I'll check again and take on f5 with the bishop. But you can go forward. <clears throat> and then I'm not sure what I'm gaining. I guess f8 check anyway. Then you can't go back, but you can go to either square on the g5. If you go to g5, it's queen f6 is mate. It has to go to g6. And then I can take, yeah. My calculation might be a bit slow, but 
my intuition has been right so far. <clears throat> okay, this one. I want to get some queen takes g6 to work. Yeah. With the bishop on b2 and a rook on h3, it's asking for some rook h8 to be the finish. Here, I can't play rook h8, but you can just take it. And f7, your king can run, so I think I have to give the bishop first. Clearing the way for the bishop to be controlling the h8 square. Uh, okay. But as the bishop f6, do you have a defense? Let me put my bishop on g5. I don't see it. You have no checks. You can't block. Actually, you did have this as a. <laughs> I should have been a bit more precise there. But it didn't matter. Ah, we're playing as the. Patriarch Botvinnik. So my original initial thought is by root g6, or by queen h4. <clears throat> don't have a big threat attacking our queen on h2. I don't think you can do anything about it. Another pattern that you should remember. Pop up quite a lot especially in rapid games. Okay. Here the king has g4 to get out of the cage. So my original thinking would be to play h5 to stop it. But maybe then you can just play rook h1 and defend this pawn. <clears throat> Not going to mate there immediately. So as you have rook h1, I guess I must be taking on h2, and then try and cage the king on the g file with the other rook across. So I'll play rook a f2 now. The threat is h5 check, followed by f6 or rook f5 mate. If an annoying knight e6, but maybe I just ignore it. Continuing to check, the king will just run. Yeah, it feels like it must be the right move. Here I don't want to play fe because then I lose all the f5 mate ideas, but can I just put my king? Going backwards would allow white to mate, which would be careless. I think I can go here, keeping my f1. <clears throat> okay. This looks like the same mate pattern as we uh, saw Botvinnik use. Can I just play Queen H6? You take it. Again, you have no checks, no good way of deflecting. Looks like that should be it. That was the pattern you need to know if you play the dragon. Defend against. This one is pretty. Originally, I want to play rook takes e8, but that can recapture with the rook. So I think it's more to take with the queen. And everything is pinned. <clears throat> this one feels like it should be some. Smothered mate style thing going on. Uh, so we're going to move this knight more or certainly. So I go to f1, check, king g1, queen h2, check. Yeah, and then whichever you take the knight or you move up, then it's mate on g2. Or the Slavsky. How do we do this? Queen takes f5 would be the way to force a mate so the queen can't be given up. You have to exchange queens because there's a mate on h7. So you go queen takes queen, 
<clears throat> bishop takes king in the corner knight g6 check king h7 that file and then yeah and now we need the knight to go on f7 for the mate Oh, Pat Sissy's a check. I want to better get seven check. Let's go forward. I check on g7. I have to go to h5. We'll go five check. Root g5. And then there's king h3. The way to do it there. Throwing g4. That looks good. If the king goes backwards, then it'll come to the same thing because I can force you forward. So I'll force you forward again, and again, with KH4 I had G3 mating. Oh, actually, I wanted the subtle King H3. Is that actually in defense? Oh yeah, no, I was thinking G4 was simpler, but of course it's King takes G4. That's a pretty one. Right. This rook is in the way. The rook is e3 must be the right move. But let's try and calculate it to a finish first. If you run backwards, I've got queen f, queen d1 check with a bat rank thanks to the knight. Otherwise, I'll play queen d3 check. I have to. Well, you can go back to e1, but I'll take everything with check. So f3. I take the bishop. King takes g4. Do I just trust that there's a mate there? Mm. It'd be nice to finish it off. Queen f4 check. King goes back to h3. And then queen h6 check. I want to get the other rook in with check, that's the idea. Go to g4. Okay. I've got at least a draw. I remember uh, Pete Wells, English GM, a good friend, telling me that as long as you see that you've got at least a draw on these things, you might as well go for it and then calculate the rest later. <clears throat> Take this with check. So here, queen f4, check. King can't go to h5 because of g6 and mate. So it has to go back to h3. Then I want queen h6, check. If you go back to g3, root d3, check, should be good. You have to go to g4, and that would at least be at least a draw. How about pro is h5, check, a clever move? There. You probably have to take it. And queen h6, check. King has to go back to g4. I've not really gained anything, have I, by just giving up a pawn? <clears throat> Unless I can do something. So I got h5, check, king takes, and then queen f4, throwing g6 mate. But it seems a bit too subtle. White has his own check on f6. I'm also looking at f5, check here. But if you take it, queen f4 check, that is mate. So it's f5, the right way of doing it. Again, it took me a while. I didn't see this uh, root d5 until late. That is a nice one. Hmm. So. That can hardly move. Rook e1 would be my first thought. You take the queen and then I'll go rook e8 check. I have to go bishop f8. And can I be quite so, so far ahead in development that probably bishop h6 works there? It must be this. You wouldn't have a game against an NN if it wasn't giving up your queen. So I now want bishop h6, there's not the h1 moving, and just cage that king. 
<coughs> this checks on d d4 and c5 excuse me but i just put the king in the corner either rook is threatening to mate on f8 looks like it should be it right here it doesn't matter which rook i take oh it does really why is that move not I play rook takes f8. King takes is illegal. He has to take with the queen, and then I go rook takes mid. Hmm. I'm, uh, I think my solution was perfectly good there, but slight glitch. Oh. Okay, this pattern I've seen before. I think queen g7 check. And then knight f5. King has to go back to g8, and you, you can choose. This might going to be marked wrong again. Yep. <laughs> but either mate was fine. Okay. So we'd like to force this king into the corner, of course, and then that's his mate. So is there a good way of. Finding a mate, the king runs the other way. So if the king is coming into the center, then mate construction will be with the knight on f6. As long as the king can't get to d8, in which case this must be the answer. Not so much about blocking the bishop, but stopping the king using the d8 square. And I'm looking at the checks first. So I take on g7 check. You take, I take on c7 check. This one I'm not uh, immediately convinced. Um, was f6 or g6 for the king? If g6, I take on h7, take on g5. <clears throat> Queen G7 check King H5. I don't see any mate there. So maybe I should play a different move. E7 here. Incidentally, must be completely winning. Attacking the rook, threatening Queen C4. Black has no checks. Looks like this must be right. Yeah. One of those where the tempting move uh, <coughs> doesn't work. Like you play root G7 on autopilot when you're just solving puzzles, but well, it's worth checking. A pretty win of Jans against Nigel. I don't think that one will be featured in Nigel's upcoming book. Mm. Okay. How to do this one? So the take on g6 might be the solution, and then throw in rook g8. If I play rook takes rook gh, it'd be promising if somehow you could play queen from jumping over that rook. But with the rook first, it's not straightforward to me how we're mating. So I think it must be just to take. <clears throat> Again, we'd like the queen in front, but as I don't see a way to do that. Ah, I can stack my rook with rook h3, and then queen g6 will be mate after the check. I guess I play the check first. Um, and if I play the check first, then the queen can come to f7 and defend the rook. So I think we should play rook h3. If rook h3, queen h7 also defends the rook. And the queen on h5 stops that mating pattern. <clears throat> I feel I've probably got the right idea, but not seeing the execution yet. So. 
So how else can we do it? I look at three appeal because I had a big threat. Uh, I'm being a bit slow. Of course, we can just grab material for that night. I want something a bit more. Rook h3, queen h7. Do we have anything there? The rook g8 check, you can just take it. The rook takes, rook queen takes. I don't see a magical move there. Right, if we start with the check, and then rook h3, queen f7. Then there's no rook h8 check. I don't see a way of exploiting the pin or defecting black's queen. Oh, sorry, Ultima, you want a refund? <laughs> because you can't play me today? Or because I'm struggling? So I just play rook h3, queen h7, and then take on e6. Is that the way to do it? Then I'm throwing rook e8 check. Looks to me like that is working. Nope. I've done there was a problem with that one. Oh, there's something smoother. Ah, there's also ideas like d5 to get the queen in the game. But d5, the queen takes d5 check. <clears throat> I don't really see how that one's working. Hmm. Oh, of course. Way, way too slow. The whole time I was trying to figure out how to get rid of my rook, that was embarrassing. And I can just give it away with a check. <laughs> Thank you, Nash Vidian. It's, uh, I managed to see it under my own steam there, but uh, very slow. Just give me an easier one. Or is that some trick? Bishop d5 check and mate on h7. Looks like it should be it, right? Yeah, this uh, extends by one move, but it's still the same mate. Hmm, yeah, I knew what the problem was in my position. I couldn't figure out how to go out that route. Check, check was a way to do it. Reminds me of playing this ricochet robot board game. But the robots move like rooks. That's all about those kind of patterns, bouncing off the walls. Here, yeah, this looks like it's mate right, and then knight in check, and then mate a recapture. Okay, this one I want it to be knight b3 check. That is the pattern. It's a nice scotch gambit, uh, scotch line, but it's five scotch. But use this trick. There's no way for any of the pieces to cover the A file or to block the bishop. What makes that Greco? Okay. So, uh, should those be seven is the automatic move? But king takes rook d7 check, king a6, queen e6 check. Can't block with the bishop because it's bound c4. So king b5 and then rook b7 check. Yeah, that one will be mating. No, it won't. Careless. I wonder what the hole was there. Maybe the king could run forward somehow. Okay, what are my other options here? Black has quite serious threats of his own. So, queen e6 check. 
queen h8 check or rook d8 check. I think we can discount rook d8 immediately. So queen h8 or queen e6. <clears throat> queen h8 check, king c7. And don't really have any more checks. Black is threatening to mate us. So queen e6 check, but oh, okay, and then mate there, yeah. Get that back process of elimination. This is a key move that I'd overlooked to start with. Yes, this is another smother d1. Some deflection d7 and then rook over to b2. With rook b8, mate. Unstoppable mate threat as far as I can see. We start with rook b2, then that can at least give up for a rook. Maybe knight b5, though it all looks completely hopeless. I've missed something again with the d7 check. What have I missed this time? d7 check, rook c7, rook fb2. Rook b8, mate is a threat. Where if you move the knight, it doesn't matter, it's still the same mate. I guess you can play rook takes g2 check and then and desperado your rooks first. <clears throat> If I double on the B file first, is that a slightly quicker mate? Is that the point? Yeah, I don't really feel bad about missing this one. It's the same mate, it's just uh, possibly a few moves a little longer, man. Steinitz. Okay, so how are we doing this one? I don't think it's queen takes queen check. Bishop takes g7 is an option. You have to take with the rook and then take on h6. But it feels like some rook takes e6 is very strong. Threat is rook e8 mate. The rook can't go off the back rank. I uh, can't go to the back rank to stop it because of bishop takes g7. Blocking with rookie seven again fails to take three seven check. As does blocking with any piece. I keep getting them wrong, so I'm a bit worried now. But blocking the other rook with the other rook still allows fish takes three seven check. It looks good. <clears throat> sure. Ooh, a King's Indian. I think I've seen this one. I'm not sure if it's even featured in the course I'm writing at the moment. Power of the Knights. So why is one check threats? Which is important because I don't think our only check would be two is going to be the way to go. <clears throat> I is immediately drawn to queen a3. Threatening mate on a2. Queen blocks that check, so it's only queen d8. And he take the queen, and then rook b2, and then take on b3 is mate. Looks like that one is working. And you can block it for a move. Uh, right, the five pawn is hanging with the check. To me, the bishop or queen, you naturally want to bring the bishop into the game too. And there's some ideas of 
rook f1 at some point. So let's analyze. Bishop takes e5, check. King g1. Then queen e3, check. You can either go king g2 or bishop f2. Bishop f2 isn't going to work because there's knight h3, check. So you have to go king g2. Going in the corner won't work either because of rook f1. And you have a way past those bishops, a quite useful defensive piece. I feel like that should be the solution, but I can't yet see the kill there. What are our other options? I can start with an F3 check. I should take F3, but then you'll be able to safely sit on G1 with Bishop on F2 because there's no knight H3 check. <clears throat> I'm just going to play Bishop takes E5 and then figure out the next move. Have another quick look and see if there's something I'm missing. Um, there's Bishop H2 check afterwards, but I'm not really sure how that helps. We start with moves like Rook F4 as well. If we're playing Rook F4, we might as well take the board in E5 first, I think. Okay, let's take it. So queen e3 check here is a natural move. I say bishop h2, I think just king takes. I don't see the point. Ah, there's also knight h3 check at this point. That looks like it. The king can't move anywhere, so you have to take with the queen. Then we'll take anyone. Yeah. Detecting the queen at that point. <clears throat> right. And again, I chose a wrong way to move, but. Uh, is good enough. Okay, here shortly we have to take Queen H4 check. It's our only check. And Queen G7 mate is uh, rather a big threat. Now we have a choice: Queen E1 check, Rook back, Bishop D4 check, and mate on the H file, or Queen check, King H2, Bishop E5 check, and that will also be mate. A King's Crusher tactic. So, Rook G5 check is the only check, and then Bishop G2 check, and then how are we finishing White off? Bishop D5 check, and mate on C4. Around to the second diagonal. Now, this one again, white has some quite serious threats. But our back rank or smart letter comes in first. So, king h1, there's knight f2. We're going to get that mate anyway. But first, we take the rook. Okay, and the smothered mate. Marion against Sunderberg Hansen. Okay, this one I is immediately drawn to Queen H6. Threatening Queen H8 mate. You can't take the Queen because the root is H7. There are no checks. And Queen G8 allows Knight G6 mate. That's a beautiful move to play. Eugene must have been very happy. Now, it looks like it's rook g3 and knight e1. You generally want the knight on f3 in these positions to give the mate. <laughs> I 
say in this mate information quite a lot with the knight on f3 or c6. Another mate with rook and knight, it looks like. We need a pawn to help. Which square do you want the knight on? On f6 again. Knight e8 check. You can exchange by rooks, but it won't help. It's still this. Okay, it's the same mate. <clears throat> again, the rook and knight combo. Too strong. Here it's queen and bishop. So the most logical move is rook h1 check, but then the king runs, at least temporarily. So I do have a way of keeping the king over there. I think so. It's another one where we want the queen in front. I think this time I found the way of uh, getting it there. <clears throat> now, I actually tuned into uh, one point of ions checkmate patterns and i think it was in this position but he was struggling so it gave me a bit of time to think about it and i think it's this as a mate did my homework for that one <clears throat> this one looks like dragon-esque or king's indian probably a uh, I wonder if it was a dragon. So I want to take on a2 and then cage off the king with bishop c3. <clears throat> After you take on c3, take, the queen can block with queen b7, but you'll get mated anyway. It's another theme that I've played quite a lot in my own games. So I've got mate in queen a3 check, which way two that to b3, queen a2, and mate on c2 is mate, but this is quicker. Now, where's the mate this time? Again, I'm naturally wanting to play the knight around, <clears throat> seeing the king defenseless on the h file. And then can we just bring the queen over to g5? Again, there's no way of preventing the bishop from controlling the g8 square. Far too many arrows. So let's just play it. Worth keeping in mind those where your opponent doesn't actually have a threat. So you've got enough time to create the cage first. Here, black definitely does have a threat. Bishop g1, back to f2 and mate. So, queen takes f7 check, king h7 looks like we have to run out of checks. Queen takes e8 check, king h7 also looks like we run out of checks. Which only leaves one move left available. Now we need this check. And me too. Well, this is a pretty one. Just a bat rank mate. The pin. Now, where's the mate here? I immediately want to play knight e5 check so the king can't run any further. And you take it. Then do we have some sort of lawnmower mate? 
Rook takes c5, king takes queen b4, check, king c6. I'm not, oh, no, I do have a, just a pure lawnmower there, don't I? With queen c3, rook b4, etc. Okay, slight nuance. I need to force the king to any other square. <clears throat> We've got a Levon Oronian. Well, they've played Queen H7 with glee. Big smile on his face. Now, how are we doing it? Feels like it should be something on G7. So we can take the bishop. Threaten right knight H6 and mate. Knight takes, and then rook d8 is enough to win the queen. Do we have more? We'll start with a knight, maybe. Knight takes, bishop takes, but then knight e6 seems to be covering. <clears throat> If we start with a check on h6, king h8, doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So it's looking to me like we should be taking with the bishop. Yeah, I don't see another move. Now, I don't think there's any advantage to starting with knight h6 check. If they rook d8, it can't be taken anyway. I want that queen takes g7, but that's got no purpose. So we'll head in. I guess there happens to be a mate here as well. So if I take on f8 immediately, the king takes, seems to be keeping things together. So it looks like it should be an h6 check. King h8. Nope, it's not an h6 check. I'm missing something. Oh yeah, of course. That was a other careless one. That was a mate. To set the knight first. <clears throat> um, John Nunn against Craig Pritchett. Multiple Scottish champion. Knight f6 check is what my eye is drawn to. You can't do with the queen, so have to go g takes and then rook. g4 check. If you go to f8, queen h6 is made. So you have to go to h8. And then I'm hoping that the queen sack. I don't know what. So probably the queen sack's a bit over. How do we do it? Now six check GF. I'm confident of those two moves. And even this rook looks right. With rook G4 check. <clears throat> King H8. Queen H6 does the job. Even if you've got a, you can take the rook with check. Probably. Well, there's some queen a5 checks, so I'm not confident about that. Maybe we simply double on the g file. So I think it has to be this rook. So we need to cover the e file. So does rook g1 threaten queen takes h7? I guess where the threat is stronger than the execution. Trading rooks would be a big mistake because then black would be threatening mate. And I was looking at 
having some waiting with here, but rotation rule can quin A5 check is a bit scary. That covers it for a move, but I thought we could just take this. And now we get that mate in. Nice work, Ducky. Mm -hmm. So this queen on d5 is covering a lot of useful squares. How to caution I do it. So did he play c4? Queen can't really go to f5 because it would go for three. <clears throat> and if it moves away from the h5 square, black's in trouble. Queen a5, you can block it off anyway. So c4 looks good. Problem so it's immediately mating. But are we going to have any mating idea without it? Because if that gets enough time to bring the king to d7, it looks unlikely to me. Knight g5 check with the same idea as the check on h5. Doesn't really look like it works because you can take with a bishop. Knight try c4. Nope. So there is something better than queen deflection. So I could go queen g8 check and rook g7. Throw some queen f7 check and take on e7 mate. The queen comes to f5 to cover. I don't see any. Uh, Nothing strong there. Could also put the rook on f3, but I'm not clear what the threat is. Hmm. So what's I missing this time? Ah, yeah. Ah, another embarrassing one to miss. <clears throat> I was too busy trying to get rid of the queen, but I had a force mate. My pattern recognition has been quite good, but my uh, tactics have been a bit off. Oh well. Here, knight takes d3, then it's f4. That's not getting anywhere. g3 check, f takes g3. And worst case of white, you give up the queen for the knight on g4. So I don't think it's either of those. Knight f3 check, king h1. Don't see where we're going with that. Hmm. What else? <coughs> so let's return to that is d3. F4. Ah, we have it on passant. Yeah. It's strange having on passant in a puzzle position like that. But nice. Let's say got there in the end. So this one, this 96, of course, is extremely vulnerable. So it looks like it should be something to do with that knight. So bishop f4 is tempting. Black can play queen c6 though and has his own threat. Rookie one just bringing the final piece into the game is the most tempting. Is there any downside to that? Got no good word for the other knight. You can go bishop c8. then even queen e8 might be good. I'm reluctant to play rookie one though, because uh, I keep missing forcing mates. But I'm not seeing any here. 
Kiriki 1, what well, come back to bishop takes h6, rook takes e6. Bishop c8, queen e8, looks good. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're dropping the knight and good at the game. Brow checks, queen g4, check king f7. Isn't going anywhere. So let's try to bring the rest piece in. So queen e8 here, giving everything pinned. The threat is just to take on e6 twice. Looks good. Now if I take on e6 with the rook, rook takes queen, rook takes rook, and eventually will be mate on effect. There we go. Do I smell find most of these mates in games? Uh, <clears throat> well, I guess in games, you don't actually often get the this close. You have to be calculating in your mind's eye. But yeah, I think it's probably more of, I smell that there should be a mate somewhere, as you're saying from this. And then I'm uh, overlooking the precise way of doing it some of the time. But yeah, there are definitely uh, patterns that pop up when you see some specific weakness in your opponent's position. I think you can't get away with that, and then you start calculating. So here, rook b7 looks good. Queen takes a7 mate is a threat. Queen c5 is the only way of stopping it, but then rook takes rook. <coughs> is game over? Most of these puzzles have been good because they've mimicked real game. They're all taken from actual games rather than puzzles. And generally during a game, I'm not so bothered if I find the most precise mate, as long as I'm 100% winning the game. That looks good for me, seven right? I can defend it this way too, but you can't really. For some reason. So root takes a seven check is what I wanted, but root takes rook. And I've got various discovered checks with the pawn, but that will take an e4, and then I don't see a mate. Here, for example, if it was a game, then I wouldn't worry too much because I've got queen takes queen and take on c7, and I'm completely winning. That can all already resign. But it is good to uh, be as sharp as possible in these scenarios. I wonder if it's some. Um, I'm trying to get rook b8 check to work when you have to take with the king and then the other rook can come across. For example, that goes c takes d7 here. Queen takes queen, but there's also f takes e4 there. Uh, oh yeah, there is, yeah, there's a mate there. So I take on eight, I'm thinking of the move order. Rotate says seven is the most forcing move order. Gives black the option going. King B8. So what I want is to take an A7, take on D7, go Queen C8, mate. <clears throat> if I take on D7 first, you've got Queen D8's Queen. So it must be to take on A7 first. Very nice, Miss Lord. So here is another one where we just mate on the H file, I think. Like a good King's Indian, Garrard William. So, Rook takes e2, deflecting the Queen is the first thought. Queen takes Queen, and then 
or the resource bishop is f7 check, but I don't think that should change anything. So queen takes, and then bishop e6 check. If you block, you get mated, so you have to come forward. If you come forward, you're not getting mated. Yes, you are. It's queen h3. You're not getting mated by taking d5. But, okay, if can you do those queen h3 mate? That mating pattern again. Oh, I've leveled up to foot to the teeth. Are we, uh, okay. What is this here? Is that on ski? Is that gay dirt? So the two queens make it a bit odd because black can defend with queen takes g1 check. And then the other queen takes g1 check. <clears throat> well, we'll recapture. So for example, otherwise some knight f6 check and knight fc6 would be completely winning. And the queen g1 is not quite working for us. So it needs to be quite precise here. So simply taking this looks quite good. If you recapture, I've got knight f6 check and then queen f7 check. Take on f6. And then can you go back to g8? I can keep checking. I haven't quite seen the mate there. Mm. It does feel like we should take that queen. But let's try and calculate a bit more rather than just playing on pure feeling. Some queen f7 checks style thing looks pretty, but I haven't seen a way for it to work yet. I forgot the principle that taking on c1, I'm definitely not losing because I've got a draw by perpetual. Do I go for it? So the other options are knight f6 or knight h6, as far as I can see, both of which you take. The problem is that I need to discover the knight move and this queen takes g1 check. That doesn't seem to be working. I don't see another way in. We'll take this queen. <clears throat> now, I can play queen f7 immediately. But I don't see that I'm getting more than a draw by just repeating the position. The knight is defended on f8. So it's probably I discovered knight check. Now, f6 looks like the right square. You take it, then queen f7 check. Moving the knight again is going to work. King h8, and they're going to f6 with check, king g8. Ah, yeah, and then there's mate, uh, smother mate at the end. Uh, so in fact, it doesn't make, we have exactly the same smother mate, whether we go to f6 or h6. If h6, well, king h8 loses anyway, but they look identical. Sacrificing everything's open up. Very nice, okay. Go here, I want to put my bishop on e5 and make it on h2. Knight f3 check seems to do that job. The only way to stop it being made immediately is by rook e1. 
then we can take an H2, King H1. In the worst case, we just take an F3 with a completely winning position. That must be good enough. Nope, not good enough. Knight F3 check wins the queen. Take an F3, bishop E5. Queen does H2 mate is a threat, so you have to go rook E1. And then we can take an H2, come back, take an F3. White's going to have to play queen takes F3. But I guess this is my flaw in solving these puzzles again. I see it. Easy win. So I just want to go rook F3 instead, threat knight G4. But then rookie one. I don't see the mate. No, g4 take on f3. Isn't really helping. What else do we have? Track on a little bit. I'm guessing it's rook f3 and then just renew the threat after rook e1. No other knight move makes any sense. Rotate g5, just take it. So I tried knight f3, it didn't work. Let's try rook f3. Nope. Hmm. Is it three strikes on my map? Must be missing something obvious in the position. So that could go somewhere else, but I don't really see the point. If I go anywhere else, it's bishop g4, hitting our queen. Just fantastical things like h5, but not quite how that is working. Um, could bring the other rook into the game. What is your out play? The ECU president. Rook takes f2, bishop takes. Sack and the queen isn't working. Hmm. I won't threaten them if there are lots of winning moves, but. Knight f3 and bishop e5 is just so logical. Because h2 can't be defended. So what else can I do? Moving the queen to h4 doesn't really make any sense. Why it's going to play f4. Bishop. Moves don't really make any sense. The rook from f5, I tried rook f3, rotate g5 isn't getting anywhere. Rotate f2 isn't getting anywhere. Moving the knight, if it doesn't go to f3, then bishop g4 is going to next move. Moving the other route to f8, I guess it's very strong. Do I try it? It doesn't feel like it's the solution, but shall I try it? Rather perplexed. You can also play with the h6, but again, it feels very slow. 
Oh, he's gonna play king h1 as well against lots of waiting moves. But maybe knight f3 and bishop 5 is coming anyway. Okay, let's try rook f8. Nope. I'm missing something very obvious. Knight c4, bishop g4. Um, hmm. Any tips, people? Um, definitely puzzled. Let's go through those again. The a8 rook, I tried to f8. It's not going to be any other move than rook to f8. Uh, nothing else was a threat. Moving the king would be fantastical, but I don't really see why. Moving bishop from g7, it's not going to be to h8 or to f8. To h6 or f6, I think it could just be. Well, maybe it can't be taken, but. Could it be bishop h6? Take it king h8 to get that final rook into the game. Seems highly unlikely. King h1, knight f3. Then you don't even have a mate on h2. I think we need that bishop. <clears throat> rook on f5 moves. I tried rook f3. Other than that, rook takes g5, bishop takes g5. Yeah, any tips, Nashville? <laughs> I can start with Ritz's g5 check and then play knight f3. And then I've got the open g file. Maybe that, ah, that's it. Yeah, 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 okay. Finally got there. It's not anything to do with the open g file. It's the f2 is now hanging. The bishop was defending it. I should have got there faster. My first instinct was correct, but uh, it was yeah precise to defend bishop first. Okay, that was definitely a tough one, at least for me. Here I wanted that that knight with knight h five. You have to take it. Bishop h seven check, king h eight. And then I take on e5 and threatening mate looks strong. Knight h5 is knight f3 check. Is that an issue? We take it. No, you might need that. Black needs that knight to control f7. So we can start with that. And I want to take an e5 at some point and then have the same mate pattern that I just learned. I presume I want my bishop in first. If I take, well, if I take an e5 now, I'm very rich e5 mate as well. Does f6 continue the game? This could have force mate there, and we are completely winning. Or do I play bishop 7 check first and then take? Then I'm throwing bishop g6. <clears throat> bishop 7 king h8. Like here, I'm confident it says e5 is winning. I'm just. Uh, Trying to figure out the most precise move order. Rook e5, maybe f5. Blocks both pieces out to the game. So I think we should play the check. Now, do we take at this point? We'll play a check first. Is there any advantage of playing bishop g6 check? First. Not that I can see. And now we have that mate that I spent so, so long 
the last one, trying to solve. Here, I want it to be F4 check to give my knight to square. F4, king F5. And the king can run this way, though. <clears throat> F4, king F5, knight takes F7. With ideas in d 6 but I'm not actually confident in mating with just the queen there. Ah, so I should start. That is the. Hmm. So I, I was thinking I could start with knight d7, but you can take it. In fact, thought that's rubbish because you can take the knight. Knight g4 is also the eagle, threatening queen f6 mate. If you take it, queen h4 check, king f5. Don't see a mate there though. What else can we do it? So F4 check King F5. Move the knight. The king starts running. Knight g4, take f4, check. Knight takes f4, queen, and then take that as well. And that is mate. Yeah, so I think it's knight g4. The threat is queen f6. From the queen e5, take the knight. Then f4, check. There's no time to run the king f5 because the queen e5 mate. So you have to give the knight. But then the same mates will still be on the board. Nice Midkoff against Dre of 2003. Dre must be one of the top in the world at that point. Fisher against Spy. So this one I probably should know. Rookie one check is extremely tempting. Followed by a deflection of Queen G3. Doesn't matter which rook. We also start with queen g3, but I don't see the point. I, yeah, I think either rook is okay, right? Is this the game of the century? My historical knowledge could definitely do with some work. It looks like queen g3 does the job here. Tarnius against Amadarioth. Taking the rook and then starting some checks looks tempting. Queen e5. I also have en passant, but I should remember, just in case. In fact, en passant is. Is it completely winning? No, not necessarily. If takes e6, take the rook. Black also takes the rook on c3. Rook g7 check, king f8. Yeah, that is mate. So it looks like it works. A very difficult puzzle because you always forget about on this one. But now I did see the mate. How did it go? Queen to c5, take on c3. Rook g7 check, king f8. And then queen f4 check. That's it. Phew. So here the king is running to c6. 
So knight b4 check makes the most sense. King e5. Then do we run around the houses to e7 to cover the maximum number of squares? And then play f4, mate. And it looks like that's covering both d5 and f5. Mate. Um, how about this one? We have a limited number of options when material down and aquinas attacked. <clears throat> Certainly looks like it should be a rook move. We're not going to have a mate here with rook and knight. I guess we are. <laughs> That's the thing. How it works, but we can use that rook. Yeah, getting your right candidate moves is kind of important in these. As we found my cost in an earlier one. Okay, so some sacks here. The queen is quite good on g4. Controlling some squares, if we could get rid of that, then it would simply be mate. Rotate g7 is tempting, but it's certainly not mating. Not clear if we're even better. So, bishop takes h7, check, king takes h7. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere either. Now, bishop f5 gets rid of this queen. So is that the solution? Overloading on g7. You take with the rook, then it's straightforward. You can just take on g7, check, and then h7, check. If you take with the queen, I'll take on g7, and then I can exchange queens and make you. Next queen. <clears throat> Using black defensive pieces against him. Blind swine, mate. Hmm. Oh, was that it? I don't have another one popping up. So if I uh, run the gauntlet there. Overall, uh, I think it was a reasonable effort. Frustrating the one that I got stuck on. I had to get there on my fourth attempt. My first was uh, good, and then I got a bit frustrated. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed those puzzles. Feels like a good workout. Let's go and uh, regroup after that. Time for some more coffee. And I'll be back again tomorrow at the same time, I think, um, my tweet. Yeah, with some more banter blitz and then tactic frenzy, where uh, I won't be able to take as much time over the solutions, but it'll be just instinct, I guess. We'll see how that one goes. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all later. And enjoy watching the Crypto Cup later. Thanks.